Good morning, friends. My name is Siddharth Bedi from the Chitkara School of Hospitality. We have been discussing wines in my videos for a long time now, and today I'm going to be discussing about the production process for red wines. Red wines are made with red grapes. In this particular photograph, you can see a beautiful vineyard which is there in France. You can see the plucking of grapes taking place and you can also see the crushing of grapes taking place for wine production. And in the end, we can see in the fourth photograph on the right, a oak barrel used for aging of wines. So today we are going to be talking about the introduction to red wines. I am going to discuss the steps in making red wine and in the end I am going to discuss the production process for red wine in detail and how they are made in the old worldwide countries. In this photograph which you can see on the right you can see a red wine glass in which we have a beautiful wine which is being served to a guest in a restaurant. So, in order to introduce red wines, red wine is a type of wine made from dark colored grape varieties. The actual color of the wine can range from intense, violet, brick, red or brown for red wines depending upon the age of the wines. The red wine color that we have comes from a pigment called as anthocyanins present in the skin of the grapes. In this photograph on the right, you can see a beautiful red wine glass with some red wine for your eye appeal. So now I'm going to discuss the various steps in making red wine. The first step that we have is grape processing. The second step that we have is destemming and crushing. Third step happens to be fermentation with the skin. Fourth step is pressing in which we press the grapes to extract maximum juice and the fifth step that we have is maturing in which we age the wines in oak barrels in order to make them better and in order to intensify their flavor, their aroma moving forward. In the photograph on the right you can see a very beautiful vineyard from France. The next steps in the red wine making process happen to be malolactic fermentation which is done to remove the acidic content, filtration and fillings to remove impurities, blending which is done in order to blend the wine with wines from various other vintages and to have a different flavored wine and in the end we do the bottling which is done as per the choice of the estate or as per the requirement of the distributor in the various different shaped wine bottles. The first step in the process of making red wine happens to be grape harvest or grape processing. It can be done mechanically or hand picked and pick method is expensive and more time consuming. Mechanical method is more efficient and cost effective. It depends on the manufacturer which particular method he wants to use. The second step that we have in the process of making red wine happens to be destemming and crushing. After harvest, the grapes are crushed and destemmed quickly. Destemmed means removing the stem from the grapes. The grapes are crushed in many ways. As per the manufacturer's choice, like hydraulic revolving by the use of cylinders, the objective of the crushing is allow the juice to run. These crushed grapes are called as must. In remote mountain areas, old foot pressing method is still also followed. The next step that we have in the production process of red wine happens to be fermentation, which is a very important step. The must that was made by pressing is added to the fermentation tanks. The yeast acts on the sugar in the juice and produces CO2 and ethyl alcohol. 
sulfur dioxide SO2 is also added to avoid any harm being done by bacteria and vinegar causing acetobacter. We do not want any vinegar causing acetobacter to be developed and that is why we add sulfur dioxide as a preservative. The temperature is taken care during fermentation and the contact between the must and the skin is very very crucial and binary use mechanical rotators for this particular step as well. Fermentation stops when all the sugar is converted into alcohol and or when the yeast is killed. The next step that we have in the wine making process happens to be pressing. The new wine at the bottom of the machine is called as Vindegot is wrapped in another container. The solid material at the top is pressed down to obtain windy press which is rich in tannin and colors. This is added to the windy goth and transferred for aging in a wooden vat. So basically this process is used to extract maximum flavor and to blend the wine together. In this photograph on the right we could see a traditional pressing machine which has been used as a model now to demonstrate what kind of machines they had in the past. This happens to be a wooden pressing machine. We also have automatic mechanical pressing machines available in vineyards these days. The next step that we have in the process of wine production for red wine happens to be maturing or aging. The wine is placed in an oak wood cask. The cask can be from France, French, American or charred. During aging, wine absorbs vanilla flavor from the oak. Some amount of evaporation also takes place. Plus, the space created is stuffed with wine to prevent spoilage. So when the evaporation takes place, the space created is stopped up with the wine in order to avoid spoilage. Wine is transferred to another cask and the lease is formed by yeast is left behind. So the impurity which is made by yeast is called as lease is left behind. So we transfer the wine during maturing to another cask. Some wines are aged for 6 months whereas some are aged for 3 to 4 years. Stainless steel tanks are becoming very popular these days for aging as they are very very economical. The next step that we have is mellow lactic fermentation. This is done in the case of red wines. During the aging process or the maturation process, a second fermentation takes place. The harsh malic acids in the juice get converted to lactic acid. This imparts a softer mouth feel and an inviting palate and it reduces acidity in the wine. This is very very important in order to, to reduce acidic content. The next step that we have is filtration and filling. Wines appear to be cloudy at times as they contain very fine particles. Filtration is done to remove these immunities and solid matter like dry yeast cells. Finning is done with substances like egg whites, gelatin, isinglass. Isinglass happens to be the bladder for royal sturgeon fish. In this particular photograph, you could see various filtration and finning agents which are used for this particular procedure. The second last step that we have in this regard is blending. The process of mixing wines of different years, age, region and grapes. This is done to make a new wine with a different flavor. A winemaker may also blend wines for a variety of reasons so as to adjust acidity, alcohol levels, tannin content or to improve the color, aroma or flavor. Blended wines are then rested and finned again. So once we blend the wines, we will make sure that there are no impurities present and we would use the method of finning again. The last step that we have in the process of red wine production happens to be bottling. The bottling is done in sterilized bottles. The bottle is stocked with nitrogen or CO2 to displace oxygen. 
then the cork screw or the screw cap is attached and the labeling is done now in earlier times all these steps were done by hand but now with the coming of technology all these steps are done with the help of machines in the vineyards and the basic process of bottling has become very very elaborate easier and helps save us a lot of time so guys we have come up to the end of this video we have talked about the production of red wines i hope you liked my video you can always put up your questions in the chat box and leave your comments there as well in the next video moving forward i'll be talking about the production of white wine so thank you guys so much for your time have a nice day